What's up, everybody? I have a quick video that I wanted to drop on you guys today. This is like a video slash podcast, but this is going to be focused on all of you freshmen out there. All right. I know a lot of you guys are headed back to school right now. This video is coming at a very, very crucial point in time. All right. A lot of you don't have older brothers and sisters or people who have been to college before and you don't really know how to navigate college. You know, me, you know, when I went to college, I didn't have an older brother or sister who had already been. You know, my mom did go to college, so she did give me some some pointers about what to do as a freshman. But at the same time, she didn't have the same experience as me because she for one she wasn't on campus for all four of her years and her college experience was kind of split up you know she went to college on her own she had to send herself through college so she really did split up her classes and her time and the way that she handled things she wasn't a full-time student so you know she was going to school part-time and you know me I'm the first person in my immediate family to go to school full time, you know, to a four year university and, and, and just go straight through and graduate. All right. I'm a rising senior. For those of you who don't know, I attend UConn, the University of Connecticut, and it's a huge school. It's a really big school. It's a lot to, to take in definitely as a freshman. And, and there was a lot of things that I didn't know that that just kind of, you know, it just I feel like if I went back and I knew these things that I'm about to tell you that I would have been a much more successful right. student, you know, when you are are privy to what you're going to experience your first year you can kind of navigate those waters a lot better so first things first all right i want to start off i wrote down everything in my phone and make sure that i i stay on topic and that i you know provide you guys with the hacks that i'm talking about all right number one thing your freshman year is experience all right experience as much as you possibly can and one of the first things i have to say is that try to make as many friends as possible all right i know it's i know it's easier said than done but your freshman year is when like people still don't know each other they're trying to find that friend group that they're gonna have for the next you know three or four years that they're there all right and it's 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 very important to you know attend social events when you when you come into college a lot of colleges do this uh i know that my college does do this when you come in the first week or so maybe the first two weeks they have a week of welcome so you can come in and they have little events and activities where you can meet other freshmen and other not even other freshmen just other you know upperclassmen as well sophomores freshmen juniors seniors uh and everybody comes out and just kind of has a good time there's a lot of team building activities uh there's just a lot of fun things going on on campus there's a lot of activity so don't be that person that stays in your room and you know you're watching netflix while everybody else is out you know trying to make friends and trying to build those friendships and trying to build uh, uh make acquaintances with with people the relationships you build your freshman year are the relationships that are going to last far into your college experience and i'm going to tell you this after freshman year, not everybody's going to say this to you, but it gets very, very clicky. So I notice it and it may just be, you know, my college or my university. But I know I feel like this carries on into a lot of other colleges and universities. People form clicks. They form clicks. All right. So when you have your group of freshman friends that you become really, really cool with, you know, for the most part, people stick to those friend groups. And not that that's good, but moving on into the future you know when you're going into your sophomore years and your junior years and your senior years the people that you met your freshman year are oftentimes going to be the same people that you talk to throughout your entire college experience and along the way you may meet new people here or there but those are going to be your core group of friends so really if you go your entire freshman year and you talk to absolutely nobody you're going to miss out on that opportunity to mingle with all the other freshmen and you know the the newer people coming in who don't have friends that are trying to make friends because at that point everybody who's in your graduating class is already going to have their click second thing that is a super super big freshman hack is keeping your grades up it's very easy to get caught up in parties especially when we go to a party school all right UConn was lit I'm not gonna lie freshman year there's a lot of stuff going on but you know I didn't get to go to as many uh, social events or parties I was an engineering major so you know 99.9% of my time was spent in my room studying for chemistry and computer science and calculus and whatever else I was taking at the time all right but definitely make sure that you 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 get a hang of time management all right and by time management I don't necessarily mean like like dedicating all your time to your schoolwork you do need time to relax and decompress so definitely make time to go to parties and definitely make time for your schoolwork and it's really just trying to find that sweet spot and find your balance find what works for you you know don't let your grades plummet all right that's what a lot of people did 
my freshman year i know a lot of people that 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 came in with me that either dropped out or are now in a very bad position because they spent too much time you know partying or just just not focusing on their academics and doing other things and not focusing on what was important and then their grades dropped and i can tell you this if your grades drop in your first semester or or your first year not even your first semester but your first semester it kind of determines the, the the way that the rest of your college career will go because it's super, super difficult to pull up a low GPA. You know, so say you like went to class and you just got straight D's and F's. All right. You, you flunked a couple classes. You got straight D's and other in other classes. You might end up with a like a 1.0 GPA. And from that point forward, your entire college experience is going to be centered around you trying to get back up to a spot where your gpa is in good standing and where you're not worrying about getting kicked out of school all right so it's important to have fun but at the same time it's important to sit back and say all right am i having too much fun and are my grades where they need to be so definitely monitoring your monitoring your grades and monitoring your academic performance on the on a regular basis is a huge huge key and sort of as a caveat to that Make sure that you're connected with your professors and TAs. All right. If you go to a smaller school, it's probably a lot easier. The school I go to, you know, I I had I, I can tell you this. I'll tell you a little like anecdote. Um, my freshman year, my chemistry class, my chemistry course, I had about 320 kids in my lecture. All right. 320 kids that's a lot of people so there's no way for the professor to actually know who you are unless you meet with your professor or unless you like go out of your way to like say hey this is my name this is my year that it doesn't even have to be super in depth but you know meeting with your professor a couple times or at least like walking up to them after class so they know your face is a huge thing you know that could be them knowing your face could be the difference between you you know getting a d or an f and i'm not saying that you should be aiming for d's and f's but you know when when a professor has a personal connection with you and they really understand that you're trying hard in their class and they understand that you know you're going above and beyond to make sure that you have what you need and that you're trying to do your best uh and that you may be struggling they may look at it at the end of the semester where you may be you know two points off from getting a d in their class or maybe let's put it let's put it in a in a, in a little bit better situation you may be two points off between like a d and a c minus so they may sit there and say you know what i remember this kid coming to me after class and he really did come in for office hours he tried to talk to me you know i saw that he was putting in the work and you know even though that his his grades borderline i might bump him up to a c minus now don't get me wrong not every professor is going to do that i had a lot of professors who said yo if you got a 79.9995 you're still getting a C, you're not getting a B. So there, there are certain professors that are not going to give you that leeway. But it's always important to have that personal connection because a professor that knows you personally is more willing to pro uh, is probably more willing to help you and probably more willing to, you know, in the future, maybe even write you a letter of recommendation if they get to know you really well or, you know, beyond that. The last main one that I want to talk about is getting involved. All right. When you're when you're a freshman, there's so many things that you're just going to be like bombarded with things to do. All right. I'm pretty sure your email is going to be, you know, flowing in with new activities every week. You're going to have a bunch of different clubs asking you to join. They're going to be telling you about, you know, what they offer, what they do. And um, it, it, your college experience will be much better if you are involved because you're taking advantage of all the resources at your college all right lots of colleges have different resources that you don't even know about so i i definitely suggest going on you know your college's homepage or your university homepage and just going and scrolling through a lot of the the uh the extracurricular activities that they offer as well as resources you know career development resources um you know if you're a an athlete a lot of schools have partnerships with with different companies that may give you access to discounts and and free stuff like my my uh university of connecticut yukon they offer a lot of free software you know that's that's a big thing like they have photoshop and adobe illustrator and a bunch of different other stuff uh, that you can use so definitely getting involved and in understanding the resources that your school has to offer is a huge thing um and i can say for myself joining a fraternity for me i didn't join a fraternity till my junior year but uh before that I was involved in a professional society, Nesby, and I was involved in a couple other, you know, on campus clubs. 
and that definitely did give me an outlet it, it, it provided me like I said with a, with a whole nother group of of people that I could connect with and at the same time it added some fun to my college experience you know it's very easy to get bogged down with work and it's very easy to feel like you're just you're just like you're like you're just drowning okay but um when you do have those those forms of uh, release or those forms uh, or those those things that that kind of take you away from the the hustle and bustle of college life it really does help and it really does add to your memories you know the memories that you make when you graduate these are things that you're going to remember these are things you're going to look back on with your friends you know when you call them up and you guys are you know 35 40 years old and you're reminiscing on your college experience you know you're not really going to be talking about Oh, yeah, bro. Like, I remember being in my room studying for six and a half hours, you know, reading that chemistry book. And I, I read page 32 through 55. You're not going to care about that. What you're really going to care about is the connections that you made with people. And you're really going to care about the the things that you did that 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 were memorable, you know, that were fun. So, guys, I'm going to leave you with that. I think I made it through everything that I wrote down in my phone. Just to recap in order. Biggest things to do, biggest life hacks. When you're a freshman, these are your biggest hacks, all right? This is what I want all your freshmen to focus on, all right? If you have to write it down on your phone, you have to write it down on a piece of paper, remember this, keep this in your head. Number one, try to make some friends, all right? Go out, be social, have fun, enjoy it. Everybody's trying to make friends freshman year, all right? So even if in high school you had no friends, you have the potential to be the most lit person on campus, okay? You, yes, I'm talking to you behind the camera have the potential to be the most lit person on the campus you can have the most friends you could be the most you could be the most awesome person in the world all right nobody has friends at that point unless you're coming you're going to a school that uh like is right down the street from your high school and everybody's going to that college and you already know everybody these are brand new people that you're meeting all right go out there be great number two keep your grades up don't let your grades fall freshman year it's very, very important. Stay on top of your academics. Time management, learning time management is a huge, huge thing in learning how to balance your schedule in a way that's going to allow you uh, allow you to be successful. Don't go taking Calc 1, 2, and 3 all at the same time and thinking that you're going to get a, a 4.0. I mean, if you can do it, do it. But make sure that you choose classes that you feel like you can, you know, you can get through. Uh, not necessarily easy classes, but classes that are going to challenge you, but at the same time, classes that are manageable, are right? a course load that is manageable. Number three, talk to your TAs and professors. Talk to them, okay? They want to get to know you, all right? I mean, some of them don't want to get to know you, all right? That's, that's, different, that's a different video for a different day, but... Uh, talk to your TAs and professors, let them know who you are, show them that you're working hard and really do work hard. Be genuine about who you are and be genuine about what you're doing. And, um, you know, that can oftentimes help you when you're when you're when you're struggling or when you're trying to uh, uh, when you need their help. And last but certainly not least, get involved. Most colleges and universities have a plethora of things for you to uh, to to participate in on campus, whether that be fraternities and sororities, whether that be a professional societies whether that just be clubs that other students have made you know my school we have a robotics club we have a skateboarding club they have a club where like kids run around with lightsabers i don't know what that club is called all right i mean it's i think it's like ninja club or something like this so i don't know there's hundreds and hundreds of things to do that's my point so get involved really make sure that your freshman year sets you up for success in future years all right so you want to you'll be working on your professionalism working on your social life and working on just becoming a a, a more well-rounded individual so to all you going back to school in the fall good luck uh i know all of you will do great keep your head on straight don't do anything crazy and if you guys have any questions about college or just about uh, being a freshman or about I don't know life whatever leave it in the comments I'd be more than happy to talk to you guys in the comments and more than happy to make another video if you guys would like to see another video so as always it's been your boy Chris Jordan thank you so much for listening and I will catch you in the next video until next time stay wavy I don't even say that I don't know why I'm saying that but uh, I'm signing off all right peace